between infidelity and money. The rise of divorce cases these days is triggered by several factors, one of which is infidelity and the economic difficulties that plague people's lives. There are also other factors, such as disputes between families, inheritance, or other reasons that become a contributing factor. However, these are not too significant, so that the scope of these cases is narrow rare. Infidelity always seems to be the hottest and most discussed topic in our lives. Cheating seems to be a lifestyle and a trend that we cannot avoid. From the life of an artist to the lowest level of life in society, we always find it around us. There are many opportunities for them to get in touch with each other, and the seeds of blind love are unstoppable. Starting from knowing on social media, school reunions, work friends, and sometimes also the neighbor's grass that soothes the eyes. Behind it all, some of them are triggered by lifestyle and economic factors. This phenomenon is also rampant in our lives. Money and lifestyle become the cause of the collapse of the household frame, which triggers the seeds of infidelity. In fact, the impact of infidelity is huge especially on the good name of their family. What is more frightening is our children, who will be very disadvantaged both psychologically and personally, will have an impact on their level of intelligence, behavior, and affect their future. It is heartbreaking that their future is indirectly destroyed by their own parents. A momentary pleasure that causes prolonged havoc on the people we care about. People who cheat, they are already blind and deaf, as if only their opinion is the right one. The consequences they bear are also inevitable, and will all become a dark record when they realize and begin to regret their own actions. May all of us who are still given a healthy mind, be kept away from these problems, and always be given safety and happiness. Hopefully, this information can provide positive benefits for all of you. Tell us your opinion in the comments column. Happy greetings to me, you and all of us.